ओके सो द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट दी वॉल्यूम यूजिंग दी डबल इंटीग्रेशन नाउ वेन वी स्टार्टेड दिस डबल इंटीग्रेशन कॉन्सेप्ट we i have already told you that uh, this double integration of some function f of x y over the uh, over the, over the given region say uh, dx and dy here would be the limits of x and here would be the limits of y so this would obviously give you volume of the given surface now what what is your given surface that is f of x comma y over the region over the region a so if i write instead of this these limits a so over this region a we are calculating the volume of this given surface physically or geometrically what does it mean suppose this is our coordinate system x y and suppose this is our region a now uh, we are given some surface f of x y so it would be in three dimension space here this z coordinate would represent your uh, surface right so it would have all these points now this surface bounded by this region would be something like this so that means whatever is this volume that is the volume we are calculating using this double integration so this is the meaning of calculation of volume using this double integration this we already know this is one method to calculate the volume method one another method to calculate volume of the given surface is using triple integration it is using triple integration now how do you calculate the area of the triple uh, of the given surface using triple integration it is very simple now you take triple integration of the function f of x y z dx dy dz and here are the given uh, values of the limits of x y z whatever now but instead of this f x y z what we are doing we are taking this to be equal to 1 so if you take this equal to 1 so that means this quantity give you the volume of the given surface where the given surface is represented very well using the given limits so you uh, specifically define your limits and then you will be able to calculate the volume so uh, for the time being let us discuss how can you obtain volume when uh, using this double integration and for this triple integration we'll see in few more days in few more lectures uh, how can we calculate this triple integration and how we how can we obtain the corresponding volume so here in this case let us discuss this question they are asking find the volume so the question is find the volume of the prism whose base is the triangle whose base is the triangle in the xy plane bounded by the x axis and the lines y is equal to x and x is equal to 1 and whose top lies in the plane z is equal to 3 minus x minus y so this is the question so now look carefully at the statement of this question here what we are asked we are to calculate the volume volume of what volume of the prism whose base is the triangle in the xy plane bounded by these two lines these three lines right so let us first draw the base for this particular prism so this is your x axis this is y axis now one 
thing that they have given is x axis so this is this one line is this another line is x is equal to 1 so suppose here it the value is 1 so that means this would be the line x is equal to 1 and the other point y is equal to x so this is the line passing through origin and say this point is also equal to 1 so this point is 1 comma 1 yes so the line would pass through these two points so the now what is the prism what is the area of the prism this is the area of the prism so uh, now they are saying we have to calculate the volume how can we calculate this volume when whenever this surface from the lower side it is bounded by this area of this prism and on the top from the top it is bounded by this particular plane z is equal to 3 minus x minus y so that means here suppose this is the z axis so in this z axis there would be some surface here right what is the name of the surface z is equal to 3 minus x minus y this is the equation for the given surface so in uh, within this uh, 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 from the top it is bounded by the surface so that means suppose uh, this is the uh, top portion of this surface so we have to calculate the volume only which is bounded below by this and up ab above by this so basically we are looking for something like this so this particular volume in three dimension it 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 is obviously in three dimension otherwise it would be very difficult in two dimension it is very difficult to visualize this thing so it is something uh, like a prism stretched upwards right so the volume uh, this volume we are required to calculate okay so for the volume for the volume what we have to do we have to take the double integration of the function now here the function is given to be z right dx and dy over the given area what is the given area this is the given area this area of the prism so uh, let us calculate this volume it would be equal to now for calculating the volume firstly we will substitute what is our given surface the surface is this 3 Minus x minus y and dx and dy. So that means if I am writing dx dy, so that means I am writing the limits of x first and then the limits of y. Now what would be the limits of x? For that I have to draw this horizontal line over here. When I draw this horizontal line, so I will look at this lower value and this upper value for x because here on this line x is changing. So what is the lower value of x here so it would be according to this line the line is x y is equal to x so your x is equal to y here and the upper value of x here the value of x is equal to 1 according to this line so this limit is equal to 1 here and uh, within this region from here to here what is the value of y the lower value of y is 0 and the upper value of y at this point is equal to 1 so your limits are equal to 0 and 1 here now notice that we only have the variable x and y x and y x and y here and no z is present so that is why uh, that is how you can calculate uh, the correct integration okay so let us first compute this much part so integration y from 0 to 1 as such dy as such and then the integration with respect to x so here we will sub, uh, keep y constant so 3x Minus x square by two minus x y, and the limits here would be x varying from uh, the lower limit y and the upper limit one. So when you substitute this, you will have integration from zero to one of y. This is equal to three minus one by two minus y. This is the upper limit and the lower limit. When you substitute in place of x y. so it would be 3y minus y square by 2 minus y square and dy okay so now you can perform the integration with respect to y so it would be 3y 
minus y by 2 minus y square by 2 and then minus 3y square by 2 plus y cube by 6 plus y cube by 3 and then you can substitute the limits y varying from 0 to 1. So when you substitute the upper and lower limit and then you simplify this a bit what will you have your answer as equal to 1. So the volume here so the volume here is equal to 1 units cubic units in fact right because whatever is the unit in x direction you have the uh, unit of volume as the cube of that particular unit. So I hope this is clear to you.